Hi guys, this is James. Welcome back to Mostly Helpful. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect one of these, a Mercedes Me Connect module, which would normally sit under the dashboard of your Mercedes, what you need to do when you've changed your phone and you need to get it reconnected. Enjoy! So good morning everybody. Um, welcome back to Mostly Helpful. I just want to share with you one thing uh, regarding Mercedes ownership. Some of you might have a kind of Mercedes from this period where you get a little dongle that fits underneath your dash and if you change your phone like I've just done it's pretty uh, it's not very clear about how you go about doing that so let me just remind you um, this is my W204 C-Class 2011 car and this era of Mercedes has some connectivity which is not normally done by the car like the more modern ones but you get a little dongle that fits underneath here I just pull it out for a second and we'll just show you it's up under there uh, we're going to pull it out in a second but I want to show you how it works because currently I've got it here we just fire it up so when I start the car and you'll all be familiar with this of course when it's working you can just go into the cockpit and it takes a second to fire up and find itself because it's done on Bluetooth. Um, has that worked? There we go. Nope. Um, let's wait for a second. So there we go. That's taken about a minute to wake up. Um, but as I was saying, you can do all sorts of things here. So it realizes we just turned the car on, it knows the time, it gives a battery for the car, battery for the phone, and so on. Um, and you'll all be familiar with this. These, this is where I am. These are some of the previous trips. This is where I, my service partner, that kind of thing. So the problem comes when you have bought a new phone, which is this one here. So let's fire this up. And then when you do this, obviously I haven't, it, it, this phone knows because it's Android that I've, that I've got this app and it knows there's something to connect to. But if you do this and you try and connect to it, let's just turn these off a sec. Um, where has it gone? The Mercedes Connect module down there, it just says pairing, 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 and it will fail. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So the first thing to do, make sure your engine is off, we are off, and then get down here, pull the old, or pull the unit out. Here it is, there you go. And then all you do is just, sorry about the road noise, plug it back in. That's now in, back in. And then, whatever you need to do. Right. Turn the ignition on. Ignition on. And then, what I'm going to do is using the new phone. Take the old one away. What I'm going to do is just turn off Bluetooth on my old phone so it doesn't get confused. And then come out of there, go into Bluetooth, and then find it in this list. There we go. Now. With the ignition on and having removed the dongle and reinserted it, it goes into a pairing mode. So I'm going to balance. Don't want to drop my new phone. Haven't even removed the protective covers yet. Uh, so yes, I do want to connect. There we go. That's connected. That's now paired. So if we come out of that, go into the app again new connection made. So I start activation and then you go through this process. So the trick here is there's nothing in the uh, in in the instructions that says you just pull it out and push it back in to re to re-enable the discovery mode or the Bluetooth discovery mode. So anyway here we are so now uh, it wants me to start the engine so let's start the uh, engine we are therefore done with engine running and now he's doing the talking bit to the adapter. 
I, I mean, I like having this, but I don't really use it. It's quite, I mean, it's quite interesting just to see. It gives you a driver score. Always nice to get full marks on the driver score. Um, some of the more the, the more modern vehicles, you can lock the car and, and do a lot of other stuff. This one really doesn't give you a lot, but if you're if you're watching this video, you've probably already got it, um, and you're just wondering how to do it when you change your phone. So now configuring the vehicle. Um, there we go. Synchronising, transmitting, and then it's saying switch off the engine. So we do that. Engine off. And there we go, it's all worked on my new phone. So if I do that, and then I need to change the units. Uh, I think it's that one. Uh, nope. Uh, anyway, I will change the units. Um, but there you go, that's now connected, and with this phone over here, I'll get that disconnected. So, thank you for watching, I hope that's useful. Um, I found that a pain before, but um, I thought I'd share that with you now that I've worked out how to do it. Um, as always, uh, do hit that like button, and I'll be bringing more content to the channel soon. Thanks guys.